video, I want to talk about the main motor nerves to the compartments of the lower leg, supplying the muscles in the lower leg. Um, in this exercise, I'm going to be drawing on myself with washable markers. So if you want to follow along, you have five different colors of washable markers. I think that will help you learn these nerves um, and get a sense for them in their three-dimensional course. So when we're thinking about the nerves to the lower leg, it's helpful to think about where they come from. So they're going to start with nerve roots from the lumbar sacral, lumbosacral plexus. So lumbar and sacral nerve roots. Um, the main nerve traveling down the posterior thigh is going to be the sciatic nerve, which is going to, I'm going to draw in black, which is roughly going to bisect the hamstring as it travels down the posterior side of the leg. Just above the popliteal crease at the knee, it's going to branch into the common peroneal and tibial nerves. So I'm going to draw those in here. So the common peroneal nerve, I'm going to draw in orange. And that's going to branch and run right around. If I palpate on the lateral side of my knee, I can palpate the fibular head. It's going right to run around the neck of the fibula. <clears throat> and then the tibial nerve is going to be the continuation pretty much straight through this popliteal fossa and into one of the main compartments of our lower leg. So this tibial nerve is going to be the first nerve I talk about. So at the knee, it's going to cross the popliteal fossa, and then it's going to supply the posterior compartment of the lower leg. So calf muscle, gastroc, soleus, and posterior tibialis. And then at the ankle, it's going to travel down. I'm going to mark on the inside of my ankle, and it's going to travel through the tarsal tunnel and then pass into the foot to supply the intrinsic muscles of the foot as it branches into the medial and lateral plantar nerve. So I'm going to connect the dots here. So this is going to be my tibial nerve winding down into the foot, if you can see that. The next two nerves I'm going to talk about are the deep and the superficial peroneal nerve. So these are going to be branches off. Remember, this is our common peroneal nerve. The deep peroneal nerve is going to travel through and supply muscles of the anterior compartment of the lower leg. I'm going to draw that in blue so you remember deep peroneal nerve, like deep blue C. So that's going to start here. Deep peroneal nerve is going to come through this anterior compartment. It's going to cross the ankle at the anterior ankle and then run deep. And it's going to supply sensory innervation to this first web space. But really, its motor innervation is going to be in the anterior compartment. So toe extensors and um, anterior tibialis are going to be the main muscles that that nerve supplies. Our superficial peroneal nerve is going to be another branch. Remember, this is our common peroneal nerve in orange. It's going to be another branch off this common peroneal nerve, and it's going to run down the lateral compartment. And it's going to supply the peroneal muscles, peroneus longus, peroneus brevis. And it's going to cross as well in front of that lat um, lateral malleolus at the ankle. And it's going to supply sensory innervation to the majority of the dorsum of the foot right through here. So just a quick review. We have the sciatic nerve, common peroneal nerve, and then these three main muscles of the compartments of the lower leg. The deep peroneal nerve, the super